Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Firewatch. All right, keyboard is working again. Let's see if I can get out of uh, this cave again. Uh, report to Delilah that we found a red shoe. I'm guessing that's uh, that's got to be Ned's shoe, right? I mean, Ned was a kid. I mean, I don't think it would be one of the girls. Maybe it's just, uh, evening. Get in on evening. Long drop down. Whee! Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, you, so you didn't find anything? No, well, I found okay. a shoe. There's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. I, I miss that. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Oh. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Yeah, no, not at all. I totally miss that. Whatever that was. Not, not gonna say anything about the shoe. Okay. Um, alright, so, there is supposed to be, oh no, that's, okay, that's showing the path, uh, the, uh, cave. So I'm guessing heading north here will get me out of here. There's probably going to be a drop down, right? Oh! Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Oh, Brian was a kid. Yeah, he built himself a real castle. A bunch of rocks stacked up. He made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. I mean, he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Don't have anything to say? Okay. Five degrees north. Neil Black has just exposed the largest underground gambling racket. No, oh, that's... I think we've... Read that one. There's a comic book. He'd hide out here to read comics. The Black Band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he... Honors them with a black armband, which gives him superpowers. Well, that's... Fucking... Dark. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to bring him back to. How's that sound? Mattering. Let's see, rope, spool, counterweight... Pack contents, my rope, our camera... Backpack retrieval plan, Mark 4. To get boards, 4 to 6. Rope, sorrow, rocks, 15. Tools, borrow. Okay, so he was going to try to pick up the, uh, the pack that was hung there. Okay. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, 
I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. Let's go ahead and keep that. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. This was three years ago. Yeah, but not smarter than yours truly, right? <laughs> Wait, are you seriously feeling threatened by the intelligence of a 12-year-old you've never even met? Eh, maybe a little I'm bit. I'm just saying I'm pretty, uh, you know, with it. I'm a pretty bright bulb. Yeah, Henry, you're a regular Rhodes Scholar. Oh, thank you. Thanks. I appreciate that. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. The Dracu Lords? I can read this. A folder once held that once held school paper school papers and reports. Presumably defaced by Brian Goodwin. Is a loose. That stuff is burnt. I don't know why that's burnt. Handmade sign. Oh, oh my lord. The good ones. Yeah, let's just drop it. Old paint can. Huh. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. It sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <sighs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. Hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Can you do me a favor and please return them to Brian Goodwin in the mail? My address is 55 Foxtrot Lane, North Platte, Nebraska, 69101. If you tell me your name and address, I will give you a reward for this. You are probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they are my dad's, and I don't want him to lose them, but I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ranger. Brian. P.S. The reward will be good. Let's go ahead and hold on to that. Oops. Wrong button. There's some grade A dork contraband here. Hey! You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half elf armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. Yep. Yeah, between this and the map I found in my tower, old Brian created quite the fantasy world. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. I don't think he survived. Uh, player Brian. Gladius Silva, chaotic good, half-elf, ranger, level four, male, black hair, blue-green eyes, age 29, height 5'8", weight 135, appearance rugged. Saving throws, Paralyze, Poison, Rod Staff Wand, Petrify Poly, Breath Weapon, Spells. Let's see, Brawn, Agility, Stamina, Cleverness, Knowledge, and Moxie. Uh, adjusted Armor, Surprise, Shieldless Rear, Types Pieces, Stud Leather, Hit Points, Wounds. Weapons, Long Sword, Throwing Dagger, Battle Axe, Short Sword. This isn't, uh, they're, they're, what, they're just damage? No, no small, medium, and then large? Ah, oh, that's terrible. Oh, I can actually read that. Let's read that. Unintelligible nerd stuff. Ham radio diagram. Oops. Radio Goodwin with Brian and Ned. Uh, 300 watts too high, past maximum voltage, interesting but wrong, not conventional. 
There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him, you know, tinkering on stuff like that. Ham radio plan, okay. Let's go ahead and put that away. Bundle of piton, pythons, pythons, I don't know, whatever. Okay, that's that's not what they look like, game. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. I'm with my, da my dad in Lander, West uh, Wyoming. It's pretty neat. Dad fished in a spot called Sinks Canyon. Most of Wyoming looks like home in Nebraska, but there are mountains and woods when you go far. I'm sorry I can't mow your lawn this summer, but I hope you found a good person to do it instead. Can you write back and tell my dad when school starts? Because I don't think he knows. Your friend and neighbor, Brian Goodwin. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that they're all dead. He made the place pretty comfy, too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. That little shit. What, were they your your pillows? Kids hideout. Let's see, where does... Uh, what is this line? Is it just a line? Alright, that looks like a, a steep... Oh, drive Peyton into the crack. Okay. There we go. I can go down and I can get back up this way. Oh, a dinosaur! Yeah! Rawr! 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 Okay. Goodbye, dinosaur. It's nice knowing you. Okay, I remember seeing the crack now that I, I put that one in. Uh, no, I don't think I can go back that way. Alright, so explore deeper into the cave. Alright. Get back up here. Space bar. Down we go. Don't fall on your butt. Thank you. What do you think is in there? Uh there's something in there. Something. Why else try to kill me? I don't know, really. I mean, we gotta find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. And they closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? No! I gotta know what it is. I just... I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. I want to know what love is! Yeah, me too. Going to jail would be a nice kicker. That too. Seriously, Delilah, you really should have uh, um, reported the uh, the kids. All right. Uh, I guess I just go this way. Long drop down. Maybe I'm not going to be getting back up. We ah uh, crap, crack, shins broken. All right, so where am I now? Uh, all right, so I want to go. Yep, yeah, this way. Oh, uh, also, 
Y'all. Those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Oh, good. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and uh, landed in jail. Phew. Dodged a bullet there. Yeah. We've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. Still, you should have reported them. Alright, let's keep going. Let's see if we can get back to the cave. Back into the cave we go. This is totally not a bad idea in any way. I mean, at least now I know I can get out, so there's that. Of course, I could start climbing down, and then the person comes in and, you know, cuts my line or something like that. Crack rock. Drive Peyton into crack. This is this is definitely not going to lead to my death in any any possible way. Definitely not. Alright, well. Down we go. At least I'll see them if they're up there. Well, they're not. So there's that. Where the hell does it oh, there we go. Interesting that there are plants down here. I'm expecting to see Brian's body at some point. I really am. Okay, I think that's just a glitch. Thought there was a line there. What is up here? Oh, seriously? Did I just... I... 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 I, I circled back on myself. Maybe if I have my compass out, I won't do that. Okay. Alright, well, we have uh, more cave to explore, but th that is going to be in the next episode. See you then, everyone. Nope, actually, never mind. Uh, I started my timer and forgot, to, uh, forgot that I had changed it for the last episode. Never mind, we've got ten minutes to go. Alright, we're not done. My mistake, ignore that. Never happened. Totally not going to edit it out, though. Nope. Nothing over there. Alright. Let's crack my shins again. Oh, God. Oh, the pain. Getting music, which usually means something important is happening. Holy cow, that is a big cave. Oh.
Oh. Yep. I Shit. thought so. Crypto Castle. Collectibles and something or other. Oh, it looks like his head got crushed by some stones, too. You fell. Yep. Some stuff gave out. Oh, you poor fucking kid. Broken climbing gear. I don't know that it's broken so much as it just came loose. Uh, yeah. I suspected that. Climb out of cave and report body. Well, let's go this way first. I don't know where this is going. Let's run up this spiraling pathway. not fall to my death, though. That would probably be a, uh... Is that where he fell? Yeah, that is. If he hated climbing so much, why was he doing it? Here. That is something I don't quite understand, but... Well, let's get out of here. It was pretty obvious that that was what was going to happen when we saw that shoe. Doesn't answer why the... Oh. Oh my. That... Oh. Well, hello. Let's break our shins again! Oh, crack. Snap. Well, they didn't lock the cave again this time. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we want to go out this way. Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. Well, sit down. Hey, you um might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's... what's wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah. It's Brian Goodwin. <gasps> Gotta be fucking kidding me. Nope. How does that... What? I don't... <sighs> How? He fell. I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Oh, made to look like, hmm. I didn't think about that. I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. I don't know about that. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't, I don't think know so. Where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I there's 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 nothing to say. Hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Day seventy nine. Yeah, can't blame yourself. You don't know what would happen. Uh, 
Alright, pack up belongings. Uh, keep his evidence. Keep that. You see that plane? I did not. No, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Is this the flapjack fire or the site fire or? Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? Uh, about how this about is all connected? All this stuff is connected. The surveillance, the Goodwins, Brian's death. Look, I don't know what to say, okay? It's like, it's like the universe cooked up the cruelest thing to have happen. Does it connect to everything else? I don't know. I don't know if I even want to. Of course you do. There, there's gotta be a reason. Does there? Maybe. Maybe not. I wouldn't even know where to begin. My well, thing is beeping. Fuck. Uh, for starters, I guess you could find the source of that signal. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um... Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. Alright, look. If, if something happens... I'll remember you. I was hoping you'd have a backup plan or something. Yeah, um... Okay, I'm probably gonna move to Canada. Ontario, maybe. <laughs> No, I meant if something happens to me. Right, if you don't find out who made the tape and I have to hit the road. Oh, forget it. Be safe, Henry. Oh, Delilah. Alright, uh... Doesn't look like there's anything else that I can take. Oh, right. I want those. Never know when they might come in handy. My container of rags has, has vanished. Alright, well, uh, let's go ahead and... You know what? Actually, uh, I think we'll call this an episode here. Uh, we are going to be wanting to go west. See what that is. And uh, when we come back in the next episode, we'll go see if we can find where this uh, signal is pointing to. See you then, everyone.